Alhamdulillah, first of all, I thank South Africa, I thank Islamic League South Africa, I thank uh, brothers and sisters in South Africa, I thank the volunteers, and of course, before all this, we have all of us to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then his messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, for his guidance, and uh, we were celebrating yesterday Ashura, which the day that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saved the Moses, the great uh, prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the tyranny of uh, the Pharaoh of Egypt. Uh, so today I'm talking about volunteerism. And if we go back at the early days of the da'wah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa all the Sahaba and the Ansar were volunteers. No one was paid. No one was paid. Even the uh, welcome of the Ansar to the Muhajirin one not on only a voluntary basis, but on love and sharing and caring for the future of humanity, not only the message of Islam. And not that, even the armies at the time globally were based on voluntary contribution of the citizens of the country, whether they are Roman or they were actually Greek or they were Arabs and Muslims. There was no paid officer at that time. This is how one of the side of one of the faces or the images of volunteerism happened at that time. Great scholars were volunteers. Great scientists were volunteers. Nobody was paying them any money, but for the love for humanity, they uh, spend their life to try to save lives of others. For you, young volunteers, uh, we cannot work without you. Your role is extremely vital, crucial, crucial and essential. There's no doubt about it and no question about it. No organization on earth or a state on earth or a nation on earth can stand on its feet without the contribution of the voluntary activity of their citizens. This is your value. What you need to do for Gaza, especially, I'll mention few words, and you put it and you change it into a paper or to a discussion. Connection and communication. Promotion and advocacy. Standing and helping, thinking and building, training and rehabilitating, planning and programming, risking our lives and development the lives of others. You young people put this into action. We have already, alhamdulillah, started putting it in action about 37 years ago. As I mentioned earlier, my first visit to South Africa was in 1995 to visit Johannesburg, Durban, Cape Town for fundraising because we had a financial crisis in UK and wanted to raise funds. So I came at that time to stay in people's houses to raise funds at that time. Gaza is, as the brother was describing it, either global crisis on the local ground, extremely connected to the universe because of the agony and the suffering and the growing of the people of Gaza. But when I visited Gaza first time, 1997, I found the spirit, the souls, the motivation, the commitment, the dedication there 
I found the highest level of educational achievement there. I found that the young people like you never lost hope. If you look at the rate of the Palestinian education compared to other Arab countries, it will be in the first four or five countries in the whole region. So they are eager to learn, eager to express themselves, eager to prove themselves that they can stand on their feet because they have been standing on their feet for the last 70 years. And they'll be standing more and more to build their homeland in the coming 50 or 60 years to come, inshallah. Their homeland, their bigger homeland. I'm not going to describe the suffering, but the dreams there, if there's, I don't know, it's 2 million people living in Gaza, brother, there's 2 million dreams and 2 million projects and 2 million visions. And you need to help those dreams to become reality. Those dreams to become reality. So we should stand, when I said connection and communication, because connection for me is protection. Keep spreading the message of the agony. So easy. We stay on our Facebook, social media for hours every day, for hours, hours and hours and hours. If we have an issue to live for, an issue to stand for, an issue to tackle a problem to solve, make it Gaza. Because it is, as the brother saying, a very big prison who have seen the siege of Gaza over the last maybe 10 or more years. So you can do what no one else can do. Connection, communication, promotion, and advocacy, which are extremely weak. I don't want your money. I want your hearts. I don't want your wealth. I want your souls. I don't want your treasure or your properties. But I want your zealous power to try to achieve what no one else can achieve. And spreading the message is more important than anything else. Let millions and millions and millions and hundreds of millions of people to understand the agony and the tyranny happening in this part of the world. And it's you as young people have the technology, the power, the vision, the drive to do that. And I believe, and I believe, and I believe that you will do it far more better than somebody like myself. If I have started 37 years ago, legging our road, no cars, no telephones, no offices, no desks, no internet, no faxes, nothing. Just walking, 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 walking. From street to street, from shop to shop, from corner to corner, from village to village, from town to town, raising. You know, brothers and sisters there, when I was visiting uh, Manhattan in 1994, 95, we were very happy when we used to go to a mosque and raise $300, $200. I was hailing and yelling and making takbir for the $200. It was so much for someone like me to raise two or $300 at that time. But this $200 or $100 or $300 or more or less, were the foundation of what we have nowadays. Since the first donation came from a young nine years old boy from Cairo, one of my relatives, it was 20 Egyptian penny. 20 Egyptian penny was the, 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 the price of his piece of chocolate at that time. So please, please remember 
that the Sahaba were volunteers, prophets were volunteers, companions of the Prophet were volunteers, scholars were volunteers, even army leaders were volunteers. You are doing a great job, and if I'll be able to come to South Africa, inshallah, soon, I'd love to go and visit you by one by one and meet each one of you and learn from you how you are going to drive the second, the third, and the fourth phase in your country and globally as well. I love you all, inshallah, all of you, and I thank you. And I pray for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to shower his blessing on all of you, whether you are Muslims or non-Muslims, committed or not committed, doesn't make any difference, but you want to earn his blessing while we are trying to stand for his people. Stand for the people of Allah, so Allah will stand for you and your own people, your own family, your own children, your own relatives and others. May Allah bless you, inshallah. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.